What's good? I'm going to say Shalom. We're going to say all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakaqa Dash. Double honors to them elders and apostles of Great Millstone. We out here at Columbus, Ohio. We finna go into the prophecies. We know the prophecies say that America is going to be destroyed by fire. You know what I'm saying? We know the prophecies speak of World War III. And everybody can see World War III finna break out now. You know what I mean? And all you wicked people, y'all gonna be destroyed. Y'all gonna get burned up. And then we gonna laugh at you. And the Lord's gonna laugh at you. And nobody wanna listen to the, what the Lord got to say. So y'all gonna be destroyed. Is there going to be a battle war? Yes, there's a war. Where? Well, it's already started. What does that mean? What does that mean? You ain't got to worry about it. You just, you just do you. Go ahead. It's uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 6. It says, You shall hear wars and rumors of wars. I shall hear wars and rumors of wars. That's why hashtag WW3 is trending on the internet. You got all these young people, they freaking out, thinking they're going to be drafted. That's a beautiful thing. I hope they do get drafted. You know what I mean? That would be funny. We'll get a good laugh out of that one. Uh, look at the word rumors for uh, the Old Testament. This word is different. The Old Testament is the movies that Jeremiah says. Pretty much says the same thing as this one. Look at the word rumor. It, it says news. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at the news, what you see, all that you see is war every single day. Really. That's all you see on the news. Everybody talking about wars, rumors of wars. And then, you know, say they talking about Iraq going to hit like 30 some U.S. sites. Trump said he going to hit 52. You got Iraq kicking the United States out of their country. The United States don't want to leave. This is beautiful. The United States, if they invade Iran or attack Iran, then Russia and China is going to get involved. And don't y'all know Russia has the most nukes on the planet Earth. They got way more nuclear weapons than America. So America's gonna get destroyed. It's gonna happen. Yeah, China said we watch you. Like, watch. Said China, said China said to America, like y'all, y'all overusing your power. We watch y'all niggas. Yeah, y'all doing, doing too said. much. Yeah, y'all doing. Yeah, y'all doing too much. This is beautiful. We've been telling y'all for years that there's gonna be a war with Iran. You know what I mean? We have been out here teaching out here in Columbus for over ten years. Brother's been in New York for thirty plus years. Telling y'all, but y'all want to listen. That's good though. It says, it says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Oh yeah, so the brothers like us is in the truth. We we ain't troubled by this. We're happy about it. We're not troubled. You got these Americans. They terrified. Oh, you know what I mean? They got people on Twitter apologizing to the Iranians, saying, "Oh, we didn't do nothing." You know, that's our government. But we, we're happy it's going to happen. We hope Trump does more attacks. Let's get this thing going. Let's get these nukes popping. You know? That's what we waiting for. Y'all niggas, I need to apologize to the Alphys from outside. Really, ultimately, the Iranians, they don't give a fuck about you niggas. Nah, I mean, they ain't probably no. understand that. You know, but still, they still going to blow the fuck. going to blow you niggas up, too. Because that's, that's war. It's war that's collateral damage. Yeah. Like they, when they shut the street, shut the hormones down, then they don't give a fuck about you, America. They don't give a fuck about you. Oh, they shut the straight of hormones down, bro. Them gas prices will be like ten dollars a gallon. They go, they probably jack up the Cody bus fees too. You know, it's gonna be over for y'all. Remember when the fucking uh, the government shut down? They was about to shut down the fucking Cody bus. Like they funded for the Cody bus. Oh yeah, in. that shit subsidized by the government. Then it's like America, dumbass nigga, but of course this process is so beautiful. Because then not only that, not only the Strait of Hormuz is gonna be shut down, but China they seeking to shut down the uh, uh, South China Sea. And they shut that shit down. That a lot of a lot of money come out that out of that area too. I just lead a more war. So that's, that's, that's gonna lead to a famine. The American, you know the American think they can do what they want to do. No, they get no consequences. It says. Uh, for nation shall rise against nation, and 
kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you got right now. Nation rising again, just like the scripture said. You got the most powerful nations, nations in the world right now rising against each other. You got the Iranians, they rising up. They just had a protest, bro. They had millions of people out there protesting. Get ready. They ready, they ready to get down. You got every like you got women and children in Iran. They ready to throw their lady life down, you know? They hate they hate the so-called white man. And that's really what it is. They hate the so-called white man. That's who they hate. So according to the scripture, the so-called white man is the devil. All he does is go around the earth fucking with people, oppressing people, robbing people, killing people. It says, uh, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. Oh, you said there's just an earthquake, what, in Puerto Rico, you see that? Yeah. They, they, they had a seismic activity, if it been going up. I just seen that on Dabu set. You watching your boy Dabu? Hey, I noticed something too. Like channels like Dabu and these other little small channels, they get the news before the uh, the major news outlets put the news out. Like you know the story about uh, the Iraqis kicking the United States out. I seen that on small YouTube channels, like 18 hours before the news reported on. It. Cause in the mainstream news, they slow to put news out. That's why you gotta watch some small YouTube channels. Go ahead. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then that's just the beginning of the sorrows. You know when this war pop, that's just the beginning. And soon, hey, you know what could happen? Cause you know the United States is warning Americans of a terrorist attack by the Iranians. You know the United States government, they could very well, they could, they could stage a terror attack and blame it on the Iranians. Just so they can shut this shit down. They go. I feel they're gonna do that. They're gonna stage. They could very well stage a terror attack. They could use that as a pretense to start microchipping everybody. Now they're gonna say we gotta microchip everybody, so we know who's going coming in and out of the country. So they know if you're not a uh, terrorist or not. They got the microchip for for security. They just start like hella hella, hella Iranian niggas from coming from uh, uh, Canada. Yep. They're coming up through the Mexico border too. And they already talking about, oh, we got sleepers set. They got, what's up? Yeah, that's what's coming. It's all the work of the Lord. It's all prophesied to happen. We hoping it'll happen. That's the, that's the only hope we got, you know what I'm saying, is that the Lord destroys America. That's the only way we'll ever be free. That's the only hope we, because we are people with no hope. The only hope we got is the Lord. Go ahead. Return again. Right, that mighty. What's that mighty archer? What's the, the that mighty archer? That's the missile. You know what I mean? Russia got this new. You see the new Russian hypersonic missile? They got. They got. This, Russia got the new hypersonic missiles. They can't be stopped. There's no defense for it. They they gonna go through all the defenses. They gonna hit America, and they gonna destroy these people. That's gonna be beautiful. And they only they get here in like 30 minutes. I think I bet a hypersonic they might be faster. I didn't even heard somebody said 13 minutes. 13 minutes? That's that. Oh. And I seen Russia, a lot of Russians died uh, testing that. Did you see that? Yeah. Russia don't give a fuck. They're gonna do whatever it takes to get an operation. Whatever the cost. That's beautiful, man. Says, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? That's what, yeah. Who's going to deliver us in those days? Yeah, how about Shumi Awashai going to deliver us? 
The Lord, he gonna deliver his elect, man. But two thirds of y'all Israelites, y'all ain't gonna make it. Two thirds of Israel, they're not gonna make it. The Lord only came to save Israel. But only only one third gonna make it. Two thirds of y'all gonna die in the missile in the missiles. Y'all gonna die in the mushroom clouds. That's a good punishment for y'all though. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. Oh famine. What you think the economy's gonna get it is another war it is gonna be a, a war with Iran. What you think that's gonna do to the economy? The faith in the economy. This shit gonna collapse. Gas prices gonna that's all it takes is for gas prices to skyrocket. That fucks everything up. Cause that's how the how do you think your uh the goods and services? How how do you think all the merchandise gets shipped across the country? Through trucks. Them things run on uh you need oil to run them trucks. You see diesel's already way more expensive than regular gas. The, the, the price on diesel gonna skyrocket. It's gonna be nuts. See, I was just helping my mom move and uh, I was putting gas in the fucking so, uh, Big ass U uh, U Haul, yeah. And that motherfucker, it's, it's on food when you first give it to you, but when it went down like like an inch, and I had to put like sixteen dollars just to pull it back to full, like it literally went down an inch. That was a diesel. Uh, regular gas. Oh, regular gas. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But I ain't never drove you. That's just show you that just that much gas that you can pull that bitch up. So. Imagine these big ass trucks. Imagine these guys that get used to the truck. Yeah, really, gas prices are already high as fuck. But that shit gonna shoot up past ten dollars. When George Bush was in office, I don't know if anybody remember that. Back when he's off in office, oh, that that shit. When George Bush was in office, I remember around like 06, somewhere around there, 05, 06, somewhere like gas was like over five dollars a gallon there for a minute. You know what I mean? And we thought that was nuts. It's gonna get worse than that. People already can't afford to live out here. Oh, I seen Ohio jacked up the minimum wage to 850. <laughs> 850, bro. Wow. They are these people starving out here. Already. It's gonna get worse. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It says beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear in the beginning of evils. What shall, what shall I do when these things when he will come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as gorgeous for amendment. But for all these, they shall not turn away from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right, so these people, they're going to see all this shit happening, and they still not going to repent. They're going to keep being wicked all the way to the end. Especially the Edomites. They are never going to repent. Go ahead. The whole virtue shall be so good cheap upon earth to get themselves to be in good taste. That's an Amazon scripture. Yeah. I made a video a minute ago, or like a week ago. They uh fucking uh, Hong Kong, you know the protest shit. Uh the hotel. The hotel just went down to fucking twelve dollars a night. So they did because you know nobody's really going over there. Said two of them went down and shit. You know, that's what's gonna happen. So people they're trying to make it cheap so people can keep coming. And think it's a good cause. Really, it's not because it's fucking uh, it's war out there. It's like what's called a uh, uh, mayhem out there. Yeah. So they're trying to make it cheap so people can come. Come on, it's fucking dangerous. Yeah. But then it's gonna be a lack of food and shit. So now it's gonna be a what's shit called inflation. All right. First, well, you know, right now people they getting bills everywhere like Amazon. You know, the internet, whatever. But soon, y'all ain't gonna get no deals. Oh, I seen the, the price of milk is going up. Uh, boarding, you know, boarding and making milk, right? They just declared bankruptcy. I just heard that on the radio this morning. They got milk prices already going up. Where was you at? That's what it was. Uh, so this is going to that place. Yeah, it looks like the second That's cool. What's that one with the shot from the, uh, the arrow? It might be a good thing. But it's another arrow. That's what it is. 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 That's
Flores and La Selva. I got a scripture. I got a good scripture. This was covered. I've been telling y'all this, this, this death and destruction is covered. We read this. Uh, damn it. This Bible, man. Uh, let me just read all of this actually. I'm going to read Psalm 11. Is it still going? Psalm 11 and 1. And, you, and the Lord was, really says in Yahweh, And Yahweh put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, please a bird to your mouth. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. Oh, you're a snake. They, they going to say we a terrorist. You know what I mean? They gonna say, "Oh, y'all out here, you got uh, America's gonna be destroyed." Posters, you know. They gonna they gonna call us terrorists. They gonna Trump will try to get us off the streets. They gonna say we have to suspend uh, uh, freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? They gonna try to get us off the streets. Remember, I told some niggas that uh, America just showing how America is a bully and shit. Oh, we gonna terrorists. If, there, if there's a terrorist attack here, if they stage a terrorist attack or there's a real one, they gonna have curfews and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's say martial law. That's what your law. Your uh, your uh, what's it called? constitutional rights are suspended. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they can, you know, say if you they can check your trunk, nigga, they don't give, they don't gotta ask you shit. They don't need no warrant or nothing. That's martial law. Bend it, Plus, Trump making moves too, cause your boy, he under impeachment. He's like, we'll just go ahead and start this war. You know? <laughs> Everybody, all them niggas is saying, yeah, Trump is a, is a beach. Yeah, nigga, doesn't mean he out of the out of the fucking thing. He gotta go to the Senate too. The Democrats voted on niggas. I, I don't know the update, but still, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, they, niggas. But I knew he was gonna try. Like, that's, like I remember Eli said, one day I think he started a war. That's it. They suspend the elections. Yeah. I heard he said the same thing about Obama. He said, I think he said, yeah, uh, Obama's gonna start a war to stay in office. He's doing the same shit now. But really, Trump and Obama are set up by the same people. They both got an answer to the fake Jews in Israel. Oh, I see this thing. Somebody asked Siri. They was like, Siri, did you see that meme or video? Somebody asked Siri, said, who is the president of the United States? And Siri, Siri said, uh, Net, Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> yeah, because the state of Israel, they can, they're really the state of Esau, because they're really Edomites. But they the ones really calling the shots. They the one that's making this Iran shit pop off. You know what I mean? They probably the ones that gave the intelligence to the United States of where your boy's at, Solomon. You know? They said that the United States informed Israel that they was going to do it before they did it. And they didn't tell the United Kingdom about it. The only people they told about it was Israel. Or I should say Edom. You hate calling that place Israel. That's not Israel. A name only. Uh, let me read this. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Yahweh tried the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. The scripture said the man who loves violence, the Lord hates them. That's the United States. The United States got the spirit of violence. So-called white man just go around the world just killing every everybody. You know what I mean? Trump over there just blowing people up. Always invading countries. Iraq to told them to get the hell out of their country. The United States says, no, we stay. And they'll stay there through how? Through violence. He said sanctions by Iraq. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, oh, you put sanctions on you. Somebody got paid for this couple billion, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you should never have my airbase in this goddamn country. What the fuck? Oh, they want, they want it out. They set up shop there. Under a lie anyway, going back to what, 2003, when they said that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, and everybody knows that was a lie, and they've been there ever since. It's like that crackhead, you know, you know, you, 
somebody like man that crack and cut your grass or whatever. And he come back, he never expected he cut your grass like you owe me twenty. Like, nigga, I, I didn't say you cut my grass again. I don't owe you shit. That's what America do. You just you come in, you that's make you make the problem, then you, you find the solution. They bullies, man. They bully, they're gangsters. They're pirates. They're fucking pi really the military is a bunch of pirates. They're going around terrorizing people, robbing people. That's all they do. Look, uh, that's at Psalms 11 and 5. Yahweh tried the righteous, but the wicked in him, the love of violence is so hated. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. So upon the wicked, the Lord gonna rain fire and brimstone. Now, America is the most wicked nation in the history of the planet Earth. You know what I mean? Hey, you can be, you got free, you got freedom of religion in America. You can blaspheme the Lord. There's no consequences. Okay, you can worship the devil in America. There's no consequences. Okay, that's that's cool and trendy to be a devil worshiper. You can be a pagan. You can worship. You can be a Hindu. You can do whatever you want. There's no consequences. It's the that's why the Lord gonna destroy this place. It said for the uh, for the righteous, Yahweh loveth righteousness. His countenance does be all the upright. That's a point on that though. This is all game that Malachi. But the Lord gonna destroy America with fire. They gonna get a fire and brimstone gonna rain down on America. That's the future. That's what y'all got to look forward to. Fire. That's all through the scriptures. The scriptures talk about that great day of judgment. You know, multiple talking about how the Lord gonna bring fire to the earth. That's all through the scriptures. Now fire gonna come in the form of those missiles. Those thermonuclear missiles. Enter, you know what an intercontinental ballistic missile is? That goes from one continent to another. <laughs> Malachi 4-1. Oh, the day coming that shall burn as an oven. Oh, the day coming that shall burn as an oven. That day soon, you know? Go ahead. All the proud, yay. All that do wickedly. There's a lot of proud people too, man. A lot of y'all proud. Especially starting with Esau. He the biggest, proudest demon of them all. But two-thirds of our people, they proud. They so proud, they don't want to listen to the Lord. They don't want to be corrected. They don't want to listen to the scriptures. They'd rather listen to their pastor than listen to the scripture. You know what I'm saying? The scripture said the Lord only came for the Israelites. But they're going to change it and say, oh, God love everybody. He just came to save everybody. they just changing everything. They don't, they don't want to listen to nothing. So the Lord got a surprise for you. He got a gift for you. A surprise. Go ahead. Hey, we got a gift. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as the oven, and all the proud doing, all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. All the proud and all they that do wickedly, they gonna be stubborn. Stubborn. You're gonna get turned into a pile of ashes. That's what's gonna happen when you get hit with a missile. When you get hit with a missile, you get disintegrated. You get turned into ashes. Oh, that's an that Peter. The day that cometh shall burn them up. The day of the, that's in the Bible. The Bible prophesies that the day that comes shall burn them up. And now we in that nuclear age. We live in the time. That's how we know we in the time of the end. Because we in the age where they got the technology to shoot a missile. They could destroy the whole state of Ohio with one missile. You know what I mean? We in that age now where they got that technology. You can just blow everybody up. Russia, they said Russia got it. Satan too, that can destroy Texas in one fucking missile. One missile, that's all it takes. One, in 30 minutes, you know, you know, Texas, goodbye Texas. It says, uh, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Last year, uh, but unto you that fear my name. Oh, oh, well unto you that fear my name. And then that name is not sweet Jesus. I hate to break that to you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. The Lord's name is not sweet Jesus. Yeah, that's what the Lord's doing. He brings back his spirit upon the earth. There ain't nobody getting 
know, but I got the fear of the Lord on them. You know what I'm saying? And so the Lord's gonna make you fear. They don't care about his commandments. You know what I'm saying? Nobody keeping the Lord's commandments. They say the law is done away with. You try to talk about the Lord's commandments, people say, oh, that's that's the Old Testament. That's done away with. People out here eating pork, eating swine's flesh, out here committing adultery. People out here lying, stealing. They go, your best friend will come up in your house. They, they going through your jewelry, stealing your DVDs. And then when you say you lost something, they'll help you look for it after they stay the one that stole it. And they'll help you look for it. You know? What uh, yeah, it says, shall the son of righteousness arise from killing in his wings, he shall go forth and grow up as calves and stall, and he shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes upon the soles of your feet. Woo. Hey, so the Lord gonna give us power too. So when this thing go down, the Lord gonna come out of the skies too. He gonna make an intervention. They're gonna be divine intervention. And the Lord gonna crack them sky, he gonna give us power. And he gonna give us power, and we gonna be destroying our enemies. They say they gonna be ashes on the soles of our feet. All this reminds me of that Psalms 58. They said we shall wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. That's gonna be beautiful. They say do this set in our own host. Ah. I was about to get this scripture. I might we would go through all of this, man. Let me get this uh this is second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Oh, I saw them in them churches, bro. Ain't nothing they teaching over the churches is correct. It's all wrong. The churches say the Lord loves everybody. God, salvation is for everybody. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. The scripture says salvation is for Israel. The churches teach what? They teach uh, the law is done away with. The scriptures don't say that. Matthew, the fifth chapter, the Lord says, whoever breaks, breaks one of the least commandments and teaches men so, they're going to be least in the kingdom. What else the churches teach us wrong? Oh, they teach a virgin birth. There ain't no virgin birth in the Bible. They teach it's okay to celebrate Christmas and Easter. Those are pagan holidays. So you know you can't listen to them preachers, bro. Get as far away from them as possible. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Oh yes, all y'all putting your faith in these churches, y'all gonna get that swift destruction. Y'all gonna eat missiles. When the missiles hit, y'all gonna y'all gonna burn in that fire. That's that's gonna be beautiful. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil. Oh, the truth shall be evil, evil spoken of. They speak evil. When you read the Bible, people, they're going to speak evil of you. When you read the scriptures and it said the Lord only came for the Israelites, people, they get mad. And they start, they say, we're evil just for reading it. But by like, bro, it's right here in the Bible. Why you get mad at me? You know what I'm saying? And through covetousness, they shall with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So it oh, God love everybody. He's gonna be white damning people. They gonna hold they gonna hey, what's that scripture in second heaven? It said, if you shall be saved, speak that. Respect it. Ah, hey, hear me. Originalmente in the Israelites. He's gone over, son. For the Most High spared not the angels to sin, but cast them to, down to hell and delivered them in the change of darkness to be reserved under judgment. That's those angels, that's talking about Israelites. That's not talking about angels. That's a whole nother hour long lesson. I ain't gonna go into that right now. 
and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Right, so could you imagine the earth before the flood? Oh, we should get that. Uh, Genesis uh, 6. What it said that the mankind was just evil and all that. Let's do that real quick. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. Right. So the, the imagination of man's heart is evil continually. Just I'm talking about right, just as in the days of the flood. Right before the flood, people was doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. Just like they're doing right now. Everybody think they can do whatever they want to do. And they ain't gonna get punished for it. No, the Lord's eyes is a Upon his sinful kingdom. Okay, get that. Get all the scriptures. All the destruction, bro. The eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom. The Lord sees all this wicked. There ain't nothing but a bunch of weirdos out here. Homosexuals, adulterers. Okay, there's nothing but wickedness is flourishing upon the earth right now. Nothing but wickedness, especially in America. America is just, just a cesspool of wickedness. All you see is nothing but filth and trash out here. It's a nation of filth and trash, bro. The people are trash. Okay, the government is trash. It's all filth and it's a vomit. That's why what the Revelation called it a cup full of abominations. Oh, you got that? What you got? So the, the Bible said the eyes of the Lord upon a sinful kingdom. That's talking about America. America is a sinful kingdom. Okay, go ahead. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And he said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. So that's what y'all got to look forward to, is the destruction of America. Okay. Save that I will... Uh, you might as well keep going. Save that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Oh, see, save I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Because two-thirds of Israel, they're going to die. But that tells you the salvation is for Israel. The Lord gonna save that remnant of Israel, that one third. You guys wanna keep going? So that's when the destruction is coming too. We get to the end of this thing, and the end of this thing, the Lord He gonna sift Israel among all nations, because our people have been scattered among all nations. Go ahead. There it is. All read that for you again. All the people, all my people, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So what's this? You know these people—they know what a sin is. A sin is when you, you break one of the laws in the Bible. Okay, because y'all don't know what a sin is. They say having sex before marriage is a sin. That's how dumb the Christians are. I was I was actually arguing with somebody on the comment board. Not arguing. But talking to them about it. They thought having sex before marriage is a sin. I'm like, no. Sex is marriage. When you have sex with a woman, that's marriage. You married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these people, they didn't know what it said. They totally lost, man. But the church has been lying to them so long. They've been deceived by the churches. These pastors in the churches, they don't have a they don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. With a blind lead a blind, both y'all gonna fall into the pit. Let me get back to this video. Uh, it says Second Peter uh, two and uh, six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with the overthrow 